Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another Drone B Daily, the show where we learn from my mistakes how to play Final Fantasy XV better. <laughs> uh, today, I want to go over crafting. I'm going to show my techniques for crafting, and um, yeah, so, so the plan is I'm going to open up a bunch of treasures, and we're going to hopefully get enough good material to craft something of use. Um, the big one is I'm really hoping to get all legendary uh, Reaper gear today. So we'll see how close I get if I'm even in the ballpark of getting it. Um, the big ones here, you need the Red Flame, the Death Metal, the Withered Fingers, and the Forgotten Souls. Those are the, the toughest to get. Uh, the bone powder and like the uh, the turret cards, turret, turret, turret. Yeah, the cards. Uh, uh, typically, those are the easier ones to get, and the ceremonial candles in this section are the easier ones to get. And uh, that's actually important to note for the Reaper gear. That'll come into play once we start crafting. Uh, let's see. Also. Uh, in this realm, this Glacian gear is that is uh, actually probably the best gear out uh, in terms of you know it as an entire set. So uh, hopefully the 1700 will get me a legendary piece. Let's see. In this set, it's the the chilling. Wait, no, actually it's um, yeah. You need the weave the locks of hair and I'm not sure the other there's more rare pieces but but those are the big ones I, I open quite a bit and I haven't got a legendary Shariva lock yet so that would be what we need for that set uh, that would be the limiting factor mercenary commander chest I'm hoping to craft a legendary weapon from this set um, let's see, I'll need another purple piece though. Okay, may not be able to get it. We'll see how close we can get though. And let's see, of course, the Arbiter gear. I'm hoping to upgrade my weapon in this set. We'll see how close this gets me. Nice meteorites, prismic shards, those are the rare pieces. Uh, you know, the, the more difficult pieces to get in the set. And also, the, the whiskers are tough to get. Um, so nothing too spectacular here, but hopefully it's enough. And last but not least, the Beastmaster. Let's let's try to craft a good piece here too. Uh, in this set, it's the leather straps and the ravenous jaws that are the most difficult to get. Nice, we got a purple. Good deal. Good deal. That'll come in handy. All right, so let's do this. Let's do some combining. Um, now, how much you combine it, guys, might depend on whether or not you have the Mythic Forge unlocked. Uh, the reason is you can improve your gear with the Mythic Forge. So um, Usually when I'm combining gear, I don't like to combine it above blue until I am ready to upgrade. And that'll make sense here in a little bit. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to combine some of that material into blue. And uh, I'm going to start with the Reaper set because that's the, the one I'm most excited about. Alright guys, so uh, I went ahead and combined all my material. So what I did for combining my material is um, if I could make a legendary piece I went ahead and um, combined it all the way up to legendary but if I wasn't gonna have enough I stop at blue and uh, I'll show you guys why I do that here in a little bit but that's typically how I do it I don't combine above blue until I know I can get a legendary piece um, and that is specifically because I have this 
Mythic Forge unlocked and maxed. And I also have um, tons of iron scraps. I've got 250,000. So, yeah, but, but even if you don't, I think it's a good policy. Don't combine above blue until you know you have enough to get uh, a legendary piece. And that would be, uh, you need 16 blue to get four purple pieces. And then four purple pieces goes to one legendary. So, so save up until you have 16 blue before combining it. That's what I would recommend. Uh, if if you have the Mythic Forge, well, even if you don't, that's a good strategy, I think. Uh, so here we go. We're going to craft, guys. We're going for the Undertaker's wait, Undertaker? No, the Reaper set. And we're going to start with the helmet. Um, I was watching carefully when I was combining it, and I won't have enough to craft the legendary piece here. But now here's what I'm going to do. I really want the whole legendary set, so I'm going to take a chance. And I'll show you guys how I'm going to take the chance. If we look here, I've got a ton of legendary bone powder. Uh, just a ton of bone powder in general. So I can afford to lose some of that. So, uh, yeah, I've got 11, and the potential to make a lot more than 11. I also have a ton of ceremonial candles. So I can afford to lose some of those, too. But uh, as you can see here, don't have much of that Forgotten Soul. But that's okay. We're going to use a blue piece here. I don't want to risk my purple piece, but I don't mind risking a blue piece to try to get a purple or a legendary uh, Reaper end. Uh, and if you look down here, I also have a ton of the cards. So, so this, is, this is the most valuable piece of the set. So uh, we could take a little risk here. We have a 33% chance of getting a purple and a 6% chance of getting legendary. So we can turn this rare item, uh, uh, blue is rare, right? Rare, epic, legendary. Yes, yeah, so we can turn a rare, um, a rare forgotten soul into hopefully a legendary, uh, yeah, represent. So here we go, guys. We're going to try this twice. And if it doesn't work, uh, Tough luck, we're going to have to wait to craft the Legendary at a future date. So I'm only going to take two risks here, and then just wait till I can get another purple piece if I fail. Uh, but, also, if we can craft a purple, three will be enough to upgrade to Legendary. So we've got two chances to get a purple piece here. And purple, uh, so that's 33% chance each time, so we've got a reasonable chance of getting purple once. Uh, that's all we need, just one purple, one purple, uh, represent here, come on, purple, purple, blue, okay, no problem, we got another chance, uh, it may not work, but it's a chance, so, we want that legendary set, so, let's do it, guys, let's do it, come on, man, this is RNG for us, RNG at its finest, I passed it. One more chance. Oh, not that. Not that. Not that. Let's see if I can click here. Oh, actually, we have two more chances. Okay, guys, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. I believe. Oh, let's do it. I believe in this. Yes! Alright, so we got our purple. Good deal. And now, now what we do is we can come down here to the improved gear quality and we can turn this purple into a legendary because we have enough purple of each. And this is why I say don't uh, combine your material beyond blue until you need to uh, or until you get legendary pieces because now if, if I went ahead and combined all my bone powder, all my candles, and all my cards into Legendary, I wouldn't be able to upgrade this, and I'd have to buy another pack or wait till I get enough purple. But if you stop at blue, you can com then just combine enough to purple that you can upgrade. So, good deal. We're maxed out. We got it. Let's move on. Let's craft another item. 
And let's do let's do body armor. Reaper. Reaper body armor. Uh, Reaper Shadow. Okay, cool. So I have enough here. Let's go ahead and uh, get the legendary. Now, if you don't have the Mythic Forge unlocked, I would probably wait until you get all legendary materials before you craft it. Because then you don't, you, you're not going to get uh, lucky but at least you won't get unlucky. So, so that's what I would do if you don't have the Mythic Forge unlocked. Just wait till you get all legendary. One thing you could do is um, when you... Uh, it takes a long time to get all legendary, right? Especially if you're not spending money. So you could craft a blue piece in the meantime. Uh, blue is pretty, pretty reasonable. Like It doesn't take too long to get the materials to craft a blue. And, and one blue piece isn't going to set you back too much. So you could craft all blue gear and then, uh, and then save your gear until you can get the legendary piece. I wouldn't craft a blue and then craft a purple and then craft a legendary. I would craft a blue and then wait for the legendary. I think that would be a good, good tactic. All right, let's keep going. I think we might do this, guys. We might have the full legendary reaper set. And nice, we got this one. Let's do it. Nice. And now a weapon. This Reaper gear is decent, it, especially depending on the age of your realm. This might be the best gear in the realm that you can craft. Yeah, like just look at this weapon. That's 157% warrior attack, and this banishment portal troop attack 100%. This is a pretty good weapon. Not quite as good as uh, the Glacian gear weapon, but but it's still good. I, this is a, a viable weapon for sure. So now we just need three accessories. If we can get legendary accessory times three. We got it. We got the set bonus. Uh, I know we can at least do one or two, right? We've got three candles, uh, which is perfect. We've got enough bone. We've got enough cards. Oh, okay. So we're going to have to get lucky on the withered fingers. We're going to have to get lucky. Yeah, so we might be an item away. <laughs> That's okay. Let's, uh, let's see we can at least get two two out of the way. One down. And two. Alright, so here, here's where we're going to have to get lucky, guys. Uh, there's, and here's how I would look at it. Now, we could try to use our purples. Uh, that'll give us a 25% chance at a legendary. So if we're doing it twice, that'll be two 25% uh, chances. And then we also have two blue. So I'm going to start with the blue. Um, hopefully I can get lucky and the thing is here if we use a blue we could potentially craft purple hands and if we do that uh, then I'll probably just wait until we can get three purple withered fingers to upgrade it uh, yeah I think that's what I'm going to do because if I use these two purple and I don't get a legendary it's going to take me a long time to get three more purple, which is what it would take to upgrade it to legendary. So, yeah, we're just going to try. We're going to take two chances. We've got, uh, yeah, so hopefully we can get a purple or legendary piece here. I won't get the entire set today. 
but uh, that's okay. Actually, I've got a 6% chance to get the entire set. Let's do it. 6%? Okay, okay, guys. Okay. That's cool. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to wait. I can't upgrade it until I get one more purple piece. Purple Withered Finger. Alright, so we, we got lucky there. We got a purple. Uh, so we took a little risk and we turned a blue into a purple. So uh, cool, cool guys. We're, we're getting close. I'll just have to uh, just have to get one more purple withered finger to upgrade it. But let's check out this let's check out this uh, Grim Reaper gear. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, pretty close, guys. Good deal. So, uh, in that set bonus, let's see what that is. I'm actually curious. So, the Reaper set bonus is 250% banishment portal attack. Ooh, that's nice. That's a good bonus. 250% attack. Uh, I also do have the, the Uranus gear set. And that's 180 troop attack, 100 armor piercing. This is a really good set bonus to get if, if you can craft it. The gear's not that great, <laughs> uh, but but the set bonus is nice. So once I get this Reaper gear, we're going to be a lot closer. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade some of this Arbiter gear for you guys, too. Uh, if I can. Maybe I can. It'd be nice to um, upgrade... A weapon. There it is. Up, oh, I can't. Never mind. No upgrades today for that. Sadly, sadly, no upgrades. Let's um, might be able to craft a uh, mercenary weapon. Let's check this out. Let's check this out. Nice. Let's do it. 525% mercenary troop attack. That's a pretty good, pretty good weapon. I need gems is what I need. So uh, if I was going to attack guns, I would use this for sure. Uh, helmets. Mm -hmm. 240 verse 84. This might be my best. Uh, assuming I have mixed troops, this Arbiter's hat is probably my best. I actually like this Sentinel plate quite a bit. That armor is quite, quite awesome. It's, uh, if this was purple, it would have been better, but, but it's not. So we'll go with that. Uh, for boots, let's see. We've got good cavalry. Oh, uh, these boots are pretty good. The Guardian Greaves. Yeah, that's probably my best. Warrior attack first. Yeah, that's definitely better. And weapons. We've got warrior attack. We've got cavalry attack. And we've got probably still the Arbiter gear. Because that will buff mercenary troops. So there's my tech gear right now. That'd be pretty good for mercenary troops. Nice. So that that's typically how I craft, guys. Um, I just kind of won this. Hopefully, hopefully I didn't miss anything vital. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. If uh, yeah, any questions? If you have, if you notice, I, if you have suggestions too, leave a comment. I'd be curious to see uh, how you guys craft, if you guys craft differently, 
you might have a smarter technique or a better technique than I use. Uh, and I'd love to hear that. Uh, yeah, so I think that pretty much covers it, guys. Cheers, man. Good luck. Uh, hope you guys are grinding well out there. Oh, you know, a little housekeeping before I before I shut this down. Um, if you notice, they have new new symbols for uh, the Citadel level. It's, uh, it looks it's a little easier to read, I think, a little cleaner. But uh, you know, the change is kind of annoying too. You get used to something, and when it looks different, it takes a little time to absorb it. But I think I will like this once we get used to it. Uh, also, guys. I should have mentioned this at the beginning of the video, but these Imperial Fortresses, they change the drop rates on them. You can now get Magitech Core on the level 20s and on the level 30s. You just have to get through the reactant. So that's cool. I'm happy they did that. Make it more accessible to everybody. Good deal. So uh, get out there and get you some get you some Magitech Core. Why not? Level up that hero some. Get free hero XP. Um, I mentioned this before, but I'll mention it again. I attack with T3 Siege as a buffer, and you can either have Dragoons or T4 or T5 troops behind the, the T3. Or if you have T5, you might want to have a T4 Siege buffer. Yeah, so there you go, guys. Drone B, out.